Hi guys! Happy October to you all! My name is Megan Collins and I'm a realtor based out of Massachusetts. Our blog topic for this month is the top five tips for house flippers. So if you are an investor or if you're thinking of purchasing a property for a profit, keep on watching. Your first tip is to look for a property that's in a well-maintained or an up-and-coming neighborhood. How do you know if it's up-and-coming? Well, your realtor can help you out with that. But also, you want to look at its location. Are there any parks, schools, public transportation nearby? Anything that would make the property more valuable. Also, look at the other homes on the street. Is there any construction going on? Are there any other homes that looked like they've been recently flipped and renovated? If so, this is a good sign that the neighborhood is turning over. Your second tip is to determine your ARV, or your after repaired value. Basically, how much is your property going to be worth after you renovate it? This is something your realtor can help you with as well. Then consult a contractor. And if you can, bring him with you to view the property before you even make an offer. The two of you can discuss the kinds of renovations you have in mind. Make sure that you get an estimate from him how much these renovations are going to cost and how long the project will take before you can list the property for sale or rent again. The third tip is to decide on a budget and stick to it. Think like an investor and keep your target market of buyers in mind. Some of you may be tempted to pick out very high-end finishes and others may be tempted to pick out the cheaper options. Really keep your buyers in mind and the type of property and neighborhood in mind. Also, you don't want to over-customize. While you may love a particular bronze chandelier, for example, a majority of buyers may not. You want to renovate in a way that will really appeal to the maximum number of people so that you can increase your profit margin. The fourth tip is don't hold the property for too long. You need to keep in mind there will be carrying costs which can include property taxes, insurance, utilities, and maintenance. The longer you hold a property, the more it can take away from your profit. Usually 60 days is a good timeline to keep, 30 days to renovate, and 30 days to market and sell. So have all of your work crews ready to go and organized and have them begin working on the project immediately. The fifth tip is know when to walk away. Run the numbers. If it seems like it's too big of a risk, pass on it. There will always be other opportunities out there for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always love comments and feedback. Or if you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me a text or an email anytime. Thank <laughs> you.